You've been a man to shy away from a challenge and perhaps the greatest of your career was coaching India in 2005. A very, very challenging two-year term. What do you make of it? It was a great challenge. It was a, was a wonderful opportunity and a, and a tr tremendous experience from a coaching point of view and a life experience. The first half of the, the period that I was there was very successful. We were doing some really good things, but in the, in the process we dropped off a captain along the way and that had set a, a chain going that took a while to, to really take effect. And once that took effect, um, it, it really became almost impossible to do the job. Obviously talking about Saurav Ganguly, he pushed for you to get the job, but do you feel as a payback he almost just expected you were going to support him carte blanche? Is that where it ran into problems? Well, I think that's, that's a general thing in, in India. If you, know, if you do someone a favour, you, they sort of owe you for, forever. But um, you know, when, I, when I've talked to him, and I, and I had a number of conversations with him before it sort of got to that, that point, and each time you know, we talked about the things that he needed to do if he wanted to stay in the in the team and you know he he agreed and um, you know signed off on the things that he needed to do and then never never actually did the things that he'd, he'd promised to do and, and plus he wasn't making too many runs at the, the time but I mean it was it was the right thing for the team for him to go at that stage and what about the hierarchical system in India like players not junior players not speaking up at team meetings it must have been difficult to get them to work as a unit it was difficult. I mean, the, the challenge for, for Indian cricket was and probably always will be is that it's more important to be in the team than to be in the best team in the world. You know, so there's, and once they've been there for a while, they, you know, they're quite happy just to, to keep, uh, you know, just keep their place in the side. You know, what I was trying to encourage was for them all to get, continue getting better. Looking back, do you think you tried to change things too quickly in India? Probably. I mean, I had a two-year tenure or a two-year, sorry, the, the two-year contract leading into the World Cup. And, you know, that, that World Cup was, was a big focus for Indian cricket. And certainly on the, on the one-day side, we, we made some, some changes that were quite successful. But in the process, it had created some, some problems, uh, particularly for me, in relation to to certain players that were, were never going to be rebuilt. And um, so, yes, I think I did try and do too much too quickly. What was it like having a player like Tendulkar in the team who's just almost bigger than the game? Oh, it was the most amazing experience. I mean, a wonderful player. And, and you know, I, I enjoyed the time that I had with, with Sachin up until the point leading into the, the World Cup in 2007 where... We first asked him to bat down the order. He preferred to open the batting. But we, in the World Cup in the West Indies, we needed him to bat down the order because that was where our, our problems were. We had other players who could bat at the top of the order. Um, in the end, uh, he agreed to initially and then he recanted and said he didn't want to do it. And I forced him to, to do it. And from that point onwards, he, you know, he didn't want to work uh, with me again in, in the sense that uh, you know, I'd... Uh, forced him to do something that he, he didn't want to do. It, again, probably in hindsight, I probably would have found a different different solution. But, you know, I, I expected, I thought that he would want to do what was, was right by the team, but he really wanted to bat where he wanted to bat, and that was a real gulf between us.